and we are back for part two of uh, this abominable meeting right here between the descendants of Eve and the descendants of the devil. You understand? Let's continue. It's life for somebody else. It's life for mankind. And they're so desperate for our DNA that he don't care. They want to minister the cycle blood, nasty as that is. He want to buy that. It shouldn't be wasted. It should be recycled. Just disgusting. Disgusting. The black woman's waste. Is that what he was getting out of Beverly Johnson shit then? Is that what that was all about? Why you wanted her to poop on you and all that old kind of shit? You know? Now, like I said, this woman right here. She's not satisfied with how she's living. But the thing is, is this, you understand? You need to repent just like the rest of these women in here. You understand? She's having second thoughts about her lifestyle and that's a good thing, but you need to repent right here. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is your time to repent so that you can change your life. You understand what I'm saying? Cause you know, you're wrong. And I'm sure somebody told you the way you live and it ain't right. You understand? And like it says in Proverbs 29 verse one, he that is continually, basically, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, rebuked and reproved, you understand? Judgment is going to befall you. Other words, and, and you, other words, you stiffen your neck and don't want to listen and then you continue on in your, your sinful ways in life. When you told, basically it's telling you the most I going to kill you. That's what it is. And we as a people... I've got to stop being a part of our own destruction. That's what it all boils down to. Matter of fact, let's go to that scripture. I want to get it right. Here it is, Proverbs 21, I mean, Proverbs 29, verse 1. He that being often reproved, harden his neck, shall suddenly be destroyed, and that without remedy. Okay? That's just what it is. Okay? So these, these women that's in this room, you understand? I'm sure... People have told them, look, stop holding yourself out like that. That's not right. You know, and then get the little stiff neck. Don't want to listen. This is my life. I do what I want to do. I'm grown. I make my own decision. I'm a strong black woman. Okay. <laughs> and for those of us that think that we got all the time in the world to repent, there's your proof right there. You're going to run out of time. That's what it is. Most I get tired, kill you. Let's get back to the video. How sad. I'm telling you. The best, best days are 16 to 18 yeah. years old. Those are the best things. Yeah. Are the best days. And like we said about this one right here, she knows some shit in the game on this. She knows this is not right and it stinks to high heaven. So there's hope for this one right here too. And he said the DNA is best from age, uh, whatever he said, 16 to early 20s or whatever. But we know that's not true either because have you seen some of us in our 40s, 50s, and 60s compared to them at the same age? Exactly. We already know how that goes. You know, again, what you need to do, you're already feeling it in your soul. Repent. Yes. Repent. Change your life. You understand? I hope they see this video. You know what I'm saying? I hope they see this video because... Maybe this video can touch them instead of pacifying you and lying to you and saying, making excuses for you and saying you being forced, you didn't have a choice and all that kind of and guess what? These ain't none of these women in this room being forced to do a damn thing they don't want to do. Because they are well aware of the offer. They're sitting there discussing it. Matter of fact, before they had this meeting, they had to know what they was going to talk about. And this putting themselves up on pedals to us, calling themselves queens and this and that and the other. All of us can't be queens. Everybody in paradise are not going to be rulers. So they need to just humble themselves and repent, like my husband said. That's what it is, you know. And, and, and it's sickening to even watch this shit anyway. It is. You understand? And the and, and, and thing about it is this. Some of y'all might say, I might, I might I'm, I'm probably being a little too harsh. I ain't being harsh. You know, these women ain't nothing but fucking harlots. They ain't nothing but whores. You understand what I'm saying? And they're around these, these damn subhuman uh, pimps. You understand? Being propositioned for waste that come out of their ass because they look at it as a value for them to stay in and remain young. If you don't believe me, check out this particular scripture right here. 
And back to what James was saying about thinking that he's being harsh on the women. The Bible says to to rebuke and not to be passive with your rebuke and, and not to spare them. You know, shout out loud and spare not, in other words. We're paraphrasing. You know, right here in Proverbs, it says uh, 29, 3. Whoso loveth wisdom rejoices his father. But he that speaketh, excuse me, he that keepeth company with harlots spendeth his substance. So guess what? These are harlots right here. What the, what what is these subhumans in here doing? Spending their substance trying to get the waste from these women right here so they can remain, you know, young or try to be in young and stay in. No. Let's go back to the video. <laughs> You may not be able to talk to me. No, it's fine. I'm going to do my business anyway. <laughs> Cloning yourself with the idea of making yourself immortal, I think, is, is science fiction. And I think it's it's unethical. Okay, yeah, we're going to bring this thing home right here with this devil right here. Look, they trying to stay in. You know what I mean? They are desperate and they proposition in black women. And like I said, you know, I've come across some uh, comment sections, you know, and um, I see the only thing I seen was um, some black women talking about, dang, they only offering them a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? That shit. You know what I'm saying? That tell you right there where they at in the thought process. And for me, no amount of money in the world is worth my salvation and soul. Exactly. So you see why I liken this whole entire situation to what happened in the beginning. You understand? And, and where, you know, um, our women had went off and thrown things into chaos. You understand what I'm saying? By dealing with the devil. And these things are still taking place. You understand what I mean? So, um... I guess the old adage is true, which we know. Um, what goes around comes around, basically. You understand what I'm saying? That has been done, that shall be again. In other words, I'm paraphrasing. So there the devil go again, tempting Eve, making it sound enticing and very interesting Why she end up paying the price in the end. No, why we end up paying the price in the end. Exactly. See, this is another. But I say that because she the one started it. She did place. start it. Yes. But the thing but is, is, right, we all pay. This is another thing that we got to make clear. You know, and it's not other uh, 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 videos I've seen, you know, about these, uh, a lot of black women that's separating, you know what I mean, the pain between, well, you know, the black man and the black child. We are all in this thing together. It's not just the black woman and her suffering and all that old kind of stuff. It's not. We are in this thing together as a people. I understand that. But the reason why I said that is because he went to the woman in the first place. He was the one that she got to sin in the first place. And these men are going to the woman now and not the man. So that's why I said that. I understand why you said it. You know, be that as it is. But like I but said, you're right. It's all of us. It's all of us. It you is. You know, this is what we're going through as a people. You understand? And uh, look, there's this adage out here about being on code. We got to get on code. Yeah, we do got to get on code. Sure. And it goes beyond just you know some of the things that we're dealing with when it comes to dealing with this devil in present day. We got to get on code for the Most High. You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. That's the only code that we got to get on. And then see, we're not going to be on code as long as we got uh, certain women. You understand? And I'm saying women, you know, on this particular platform, misleading other women. You understand? Thinking that it's all about black women empowerment. You understand what I'm saying? And I want to say something back to what James was saying about us, all of us. Because a lot of people will say that if it wasn't for the woman, the man wouldn't be here. But I beg to differ because the Most High created the man first and he made us from him and for him. Yeah, it's that, and that's just, it's just that cut and dry. You understand what I'm saying? See? So, but the thing is, is this, in the meantime, in between time, 
these things are going to continue to happen but we can do the best that we can to try to enlighten you know our people you understand not to keep making the same mistakes of the past you understand before the most high does come back and clean this thing up so we can break some of these generational curses yep that's what it is and i guess you know what i mean that goes back to the one third you know among the two thirds yes. you understand what i mean one out of three people is going to be the remnant and those other two thirds are going to be cut off and destroyed and that's just all there is to it you yes. see so they better wake up while they still can you know what i'm saying because this is an ugly thing that we are going that has befelled us as a people you know what i'm saying it is. this is a very very ugly thing that has befelled us and it's just not good see if we can just reach the minds of our women you understand what i mean to stop seeking this devil for money and material gains stop pouring yourself out you understand what i'm saying yes you are a precious commodity one of the most precious commodities the most highest gave given men given us you understand look at us you understand and love us and seek what you need from us your man instead of this devil over here and learn from the past mistakes you understand and, and, and if you start feeling there's something getting in your soul to the point to where somebody's telling you something that ain't sitting right stop listening to them just like them two women in that room right in that video in that room you can see they felt like something ain't right here i don't like this you know what i mean i gotta change my life those two that i i, I uh i paused you know and called out but those other two was all about the money they were all about the money they don't care you understand and like i said tamiko was talking the same thing all they west all they wanted to give them was a hundred dollars for their uh period blood or whatever Mm, 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 mm. That's all she kept fucking doing, and it, it, it was sickening. And what does the Most High tell us about money? That it can be the root of all kinds of evil. All, right? all evil is root of all evil. You know what I mean? Many of many of men that wonder after it has some about experience or caused many pains or pain or something like that. You know what I mean? And of course, we know the devil is not going to show up to us looking like this image on the video here mm -mm. because we know that the most high made him the most beautiful of all of his cre creations he was and he, so he gonna have to come like to be honest with you wolf, wolf in sheep clothing that's how he, he was <laughs> he, he was something else he was he was something he was something to look up he got lifted up in his own splendor you know and became proud yes. arrogant and, and rebelled against the most high yes. basically and he was black too okay yes he was black too but they created these, he created these abominable things. You understand what I'm saying? He went to the sister right here to do it. Yeah. Metaphorically now, you know what I'm saying? Metaphorically. But that's the message that we bring into y'all. And I hope you guys, you know, really, really understand where we're coming from in this particular video right here about the situation. Because it's important. It's very important. This ain't no joke. You understand? We got to get on code for the most high so we can be delivered and be right when and the when the most high come back you understand and it's no laughing matter like how some of the women were taking it yeah this, this ain't no game they sitting right here right before the devil's descendants themselves talking about you know up here wagering uh, uh prop being proposition and, and, and trying to uh wager a uh, bets well you should be paying us more than that they did it they sold out from what I understand, some of them did it and some of them didn't. And in Deboria videos, she was talking about how they got a clinic set up and how they are sex trafficking. My thing was, if they are doing this to women who are not willingly doing it, then those are the innocent women. For the women that are willingly going there, selling their DNA in whatever form they can sell it in, mm. those are the wicked ones. Those are the whores. Yep, those are the harlots. They're the whores, you know. Well, people, that's all we got on this one right here. We hope you guys enjoyed this particular video right here. You know, tell us what you think about it in the comment section. We're, you know, interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, 
please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James. And Joan. And we are out. Peace.